you've got a secret. Yeah. And it's not on Facebook yet. No. <laughs> okay. Mr. Davies asked me out on a date. Did he? Yeah. When did he do that? Three days ago at the PTA meeting. What? Mm. Don't say anything to anyone though. He wants to keep it quiet. Because people start spreading rumours. We know what people can be like, you know. Oh yeah. People can be real bastards. Two-timing, cheating, slimy bastards. I don't know what they got coming to them. Yeah, well, if, uh, if this all works out well, then maybe we could go on a double date and uh, you could bring your mystery man. What do you think? Oh, great idea. I think my mystery man would just love that. And so would dear Mr Davies. Would you excuse me a moment? I think I need to make a phone call. What did you think of Mr Ballard? Um, that he was guilty. And have you spoken to anyone about it? You. Apart from me. No. Still, your attitude towards him was quite clear nonetheless. The guy murdered his wife. He was our client. So? Some of the stakeholders feel we haven't done everything we could to defend him. We was practically caught red-handed. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to let you go. What? We lost one of our biggest clients. Heads need to roll. This is ridiculous. It is. And why are you doing it? Better your head than mine. I don't want to go on no trip. Okay, it was just an idea. And maybe we got better things to spend our money on in a car. What do you think about that? We've got bills to pay and food. That wall in my room's still mouldy. Has Dad been here? No. He has, hasn't he? Did you give me my money? You shouldn't talk to me like that. It was my money. It took me three months to earn it, and you just hand it over to him so he can get high with his bitch. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Why are you so fucking useless? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, don't hurt me. I wish you were dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, Al, please.